Thank you for joining me. Today I would like to share with you a story I wrote two days ago. I hope you enjoy. Miss Camellia and the Hugel Culture Mound. How Miss Camellia found her smile again by Krina Ludmila Christian. Once upon a time, Miss Camellia lived in the big city of music. Crowds of fancy people came to her concerts, day and night, for she was a very famous singer. People loved her. But one evening, just before her performance, she had lost her voice, and so she stopped smiling. She rushed out of the theater, out into the street, and ran out all the way to her apartment. She sat on the bed and cried and cried and cried some more until she had run out of tears. Something was missing, something greater. So she decided she had to go back to her roots. She packed her suitcase and left the city behind. She went to the countryside, far away from the crowds, far away from the honking cars, far away from the crazy flashes. She came to the birch tree forest, and in the forest she entered the glade. In the middle of the glade was a cabin, looking rather shabby and fallen from her once glamorous looks. There, near the wooden door, Miss Camellia stopped and put her suitcase down. She sat on it and listened to the birds chirping and to the river stream trickling down the hill. She then stood up, excited, stretched her arms and breathed in the wilderness. She went inside the unlocked dusty cabin and unpacked a few things. Spiders were crawling on spider webs inside the cabin, but she didn't mind them. She undressed from the city clothes and put new ones on. She looked quite different afterward. She wore, she wore red hiking shoes, baggy mustard green trousers, a colorful rainbow shirt and a sun hat. With a bit more spring in her feet, she began to pick up logs, sticks, branches, little branches and big branches. Some dried, some already pretty rotten. She put them all in a long pile shaped like a snaking river on a map. She then sprayed them all with water from the spring. Squirrels picked at her doing, baby deers too. Even a bear stared, stunned, from behind the trunk of a fir tree. What is this human doing here on the forest? They all seemed to say. Nevertheless, curiosity got the better of them, and they came to see her every day, each day getting closer to her than the previous one. It became clear to them soon what she was doing. She was building hills made of branches all around the glade surrounding it. They still wondered why, though. Is she building a nest? chirped a tiny little bird. All the creatures wondered what this strange woman was really up to in their forest, in their glade. One day, Miss Camellia left, but she returned after a few hours with a wagon pulled by a horse. She began emptying the contents of the wagon onto the stacked pile of branches. She patted the old manure, added some more branches, and then she topped it all with a layer of compost. At the base of the pile, all around it, she put large stones to hold up the structure. And then she sprayed it with water all over again. Now we wait, she said softly, wiping the sweat from her forehead. Sing us a song, the birds chirped in unison, because, just as the people in the big city, they too knew who she was and what a wonderful voice she had. Rumors had spread this far indeed, although they were a little behind. They didn't know she had lost her singing voice. Miss Camellia frowned. She didn't sing them a song. Seeing how upset Miss Camellia turned, a tiny little bird picked a branch with her beak and brought it over to the pile, which by then was more like a great mound. Miss Camellia began whistling a bit, and that put them all in a good mood again. After several days and nights and weeks and storms have passed, Miss Camellia hand-tested the black soft soil and noticed worms crawling happily in it. They were having a party. It's 
now time to plant the seeds, she said. And she was right. The Hugel culture mound was filled with life, ready to give birth to others. Miss Camellia added a bunch of straws on top of it and then planted the seeds. Flower seeds, vegetable seeds, all sorts of beneficial seeds. Then later came the, the amazing blooms and then the delicious fruits. And finally, they all understood as they all munched on the pickings and gazed at Miss Camellia blooming with joy. They understood why she came there and built that with her own hands. It was so satisfying and so rewarding to see the fruits of her labor, to taste them and share them with others. In her straw hat and her baggy trousers, Miss Camellia found her smile again. And after that, everything was possible. Surrounded by her wild friends, she sang, and they all witnessed the marvel of her voice in the Hugel Culture Garden. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you, uh, if you liked it so much. Thank you for watching.